Let me know if you can see me, people, right? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if maybe my connection's not strong enough. Probably usual with a stupid bloody internet. Let me know, people. Agee up, Sky. Sky Telly is ridiculous for their Wi Fi. I'm telling you, I'm sick of them. You pay all that money for Sky TV and then you can't get on to it. Let me know if there's anybody here, please. Is there MD here? Can you just let me know? Hi, everybody. Because you can see me then. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I better turn it this way so I can hear you. See, he's hear you. So, hear you. See, hi, Davy Lynn. Is there anybody else here? I don't know if there's maybe people waiting to get in or no. The mods will need to deal with that. <laughs> How are you all? Davy and Lynn. I hope you are all right. No bother. <laughs> We'll be sending out some invitations if I can figure this out, how to do it. I don't think Sky Sky is internet is strong enough to go live. Because even on YouTube it won't let me go live. I need to let somebody else invite me in. Invite, 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 invite. Invite, 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 invite. Oh my goodness. We'll see if that works. That's okay. That's good, David and Lynn. I'm glad to hear it. This lockdown's just getting beyond a joke now, though, isn't it? Everybody's just like, oh, come on, get it passed. I think that everything will be back to normal by Monday anyway, and everybody will get back to work and things. So they will. I don't know if I'm going to have to maybe go live on my normal Facebook page. Because I've only really got 26 subscribers on this new group. But I wanted to introduce my new group to everybody so that I can show you all my tarot cares and things. Oh, there Linda in. Good, good. Linda's in. That's excellent. It's probably just going to take a couple of minutes for you all to get I was, I was going to go live at 8. And then I was asked by a couple of people just to leave it to half 8 till um, the soaps and that were by. So, oh, there's our Nelly in. <laughs> it actually tells me to talk with this. I'm not used to going live, by the way, on Facebook, so you still need to bear with me. I'm no, I'm, I usually have somebody to speak to as well, because I'm usually on podcast, so I'm usually I've got somebody to speak to, and I've not got anybody to speak to here, so it's all winging it. <laughs> I'm glad you have made it, though. So, I, so I tried to wait till after the soaps were by, we just so that people would actually come. I hear that Corey and things is it like a crucial minute. I've spoken part guys because I am stressed to the maximum. I don't usually wear makeup about the house, but I have decided to put makeup on just to let you all in, to introduce myself to you all. And I know everybody that stays in Les Mahego knows what I look like, but I wanted uh, everybody else to. See, a face instead of just a name. <laughs> Our Ray's asking to join. I, I think I've let her on. Have I not? Have I not let her on? Nella, can you... You're admin, you know? Can you not accept her in? Tell her to go back in, it, Nella, because I'm sure I approved her. I just done it there before I went live. I approved her to come in. She should try again. Tell her to try again. The group is an open group anyway. I can send out the links. Wait a wee minute and I'll send the link to her. Um, I 
I don't know what to say, Nelly, because I can't get you this. Do you know what I mean? You'll just need to tell her to come get it and come back in it. Because I did add her. So she should get in now. I'm going to get another couple of minutes anyway, and I wanted to talk. I wanted to actually to let you know what I want for my group. So I'll let you all know that in a minute, and then I'll let you know what I'm going this group for. Because what I want this group for is totally different to what my YouTube channel is about. But if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then... Don't know, Nelly. All right. Um, I don't know what to say then, Nell. You'll just need to ask it to go back in. Yeah. Did Wally get in? Aye, you get in, Linda. Uh huh. Yep. Can you know that in Linda? You're admin. Ted, did I know put you admin or a mod? I can't really remember. I know I put a few uses mods as well. Eh. Uh, Right, anyway, this is what I wanted to do for my channel, guys, right? My YouTube channel, I want it to be about the paranormal, obviously, like getting out in investigations, doing wee stuff in my house, things like that, right? Uh, just all my, my paranormal stuff, that's what my YouTube channel wants it to be about, right? Can you hear me okay, aye? It's alright, Nelly, I'll explain it her later. Um, so I wanted this group to actually be about me and you communicating, right? Like, say, like, for instance, I feel a member of your family dies and you are struggling. I want you to be able to hit me up on here and we'll do either a private reading that you can have just me and you talking through Messenger or I'll turn the spirit box and things like that on for you as well. Uh, things like that. Or if you are well, let me, I will stream it live on my channel. But if you don't want that, then a day private session is where you's not a problem. Um, we'll figure it out. That's what I want for this group. And I also want this group on Facebook to be about... Sometimes when you go investigating and you, t you get your evidence, you think, oh, I don't know if this is good enough for YouTube, I don't know if that's an orb, I don't know if that's a shadow, or if it's just this and that. So that's what I want today, guys, is I want... Aye, thanks, Linda. That's what I want today, is I want this channel to be about all the other paranormal investigators as well, who's maybe got, like, a bit of, a bit of footage or a sit... Did you see that? A, a sound that they don't know and they want, like, a bit of advice on. I mean, I've only been doing this, what, for 2014-15? But uh, I'll give them my opinion. Whether they want it or no. <laughs> I'm only kidding. If they put it on my channel and ask my opinion, I'll give them my opinion. But I'd like to see to say that I know the difference between a fly and an orb at, at this point in time. I am a mod. Are you a mod happy? Good. I'm glad, Linda. I just wanted a couple of used to be mods and that just in case of trolls because Facebook's a totally different game for YouTube. YouTube's fine for all that, but for all the live streams and things, because half the people are in the figures in home too, but Facebook gets different. So it's just to let you all keep an eye on the chat, please. Uh, Lynn and David, do you just want a wee card? I'll give you a postcard for Spirit. If you want one while you are here, just let me know I or no, even a thumbs up, and I'll give you a wee postcard for Spirit while you are here. Well, we're waiting to see if MD else comes in. I think maybe a lot of people are struggling to get into the group. I think that's what maybe it is because I noticed a couple of notifications coming up. I might have to end up changing the settings on my book, my group. Do you want a postcard for Spirit, Davy and Lynn, since you were first here? What do you see this? I'll be Davy and Lynn. I'll be totally bammers here. Aye, it is Davy and Lynn. <laughs> I'm like, is it Davy and Lynn? My memory's terrible, people, right? Just to let you know, it is bad. Oh, look, I'm shuffling the book. How cracky crazy can I be? There you go, then. I'll do his one. There you go. Right, you ready, guys? 
dare you. Sorry about that light, by the way. I know it's a bit annoying. I'll try and put you up a wee bit. Oh, there I fell out. I'll try and put you up so that you're not getting the light as much. I'm sorry it's annoying people. I wasn't as organised as I thought I was. Sorry if it's annoying you. Sorry if it's annoying you, honestly, right? I'll be organised better next time because next time I've got to sort on my dressing table. Hey, Michelle, in. I've got to sort on my dressing table so that I can just have it for all my spirit stuff. Right, anyway, so here we go, guys. You are in such a good shape right now that we are all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this all is going. But if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How, are, how is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to live? Are you trying to let... Oh my God! Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Resentment be gone. Forgiveness and love enter. Please, you can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in the moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section over here? Basically, it's just to gear up all the self doubt. Gear all the gear away all the self doubt. Try and have a wee bit of confidence within yourself, and gear yourself, gear yourself, gear your power back to your higher self. Like sometimes we'll say, right, I'm not doing that because I can't be bothered. I'm not doing that because I've not got enough money. But say you've got money there, twenty quid that you need to keep for messages, maybe for say next Thursday. Yes, it go to have a wee day out and then worry about that then. It's just a case of try and remember that spirit will never make you suffer, especially if it's something positive you're doing. Like if you're gonna do that and you're maybe like saying, Oh, but I'm worried about next week because maybe next week I might need this or I might need that. Just take that moment and just do it. And then as soon as next week comes, I bet you any money something will fall into place to help you. Hi Chris. Oh, they're all my fa my top family here. <laughs> it's funny you've been on the other side. Chris is just a comment. I'm usually live on your channel with you. I'm struggling for something to speak about. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're okay. I'll I'll do another care just for Sunday, and then we'll wait another couple of minutes, and then I'll talk about what I'm all about today, right? Does anybody else want a wee postcard for Spirit while I'm here? I just want... I want I'll give you a wee care ten. Let's hope you get a different one this time. Fact! Do you want me to do a moonology? I've never really used these on a live before, guys, and I've only really ever used these a couple of times myself. Moon Oracle. Can you see that? I'll give you one of them, Linda, right? I need to read for the book with us, you know, people. See, these are like things like good vibration, you're doing good, just motivation. Most of the cares are all about motivation. And maybe like a warning if they feel as if something's coming up that could harm you or your spirit. Right, Linda, I'll give you a wee moon card. Moonology Oracle, these are called. <sighs> right, there we go. It's hard to show you when you're backwards. It's time to release negativity. Full Moon and Scorpio. That's quite a nice card, actually. Right, I think Full Moon and Scorpio. There we 
we go. Right, one bit, you ready? It's time to release negativity. Full Moon and Scorpio. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotional, intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now if you make an effort. Use your magic. You have all you need inside you to bring about your desired result. A tone to the moon. M it's all about, I don't even know what that word says, guys. Additional meanings for this card. It's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully. You're right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let go. The end of an argument. Let go the end of an argument. There you go. The teaching. The full moon in Scorpio has a sting in its tail. It can herald a vindictive end to a relationship. It can also be a time when we want to be good, but we are naughty. If you, fill, if you pull this card, no matter when, your dark side and your shadow self may be showing. The full moon in Scorpio is also a time of magic. If you were thinking of making some magic, this is your sign to do it. There you go, guy. There you go, Linda. Just basically another uh, sign just to do what you want to do in life. Maybe let go some negative people that's maybe giving you the wrong judgment. Maybe they're just holding you back or just they're no worth your time anymore. Spirit postcard with that. All right, they bother my sis. Ah, oh, that's right. So it was Michelle, your granny's birthday. Do you want a wee moon oracle one for a giant shell? I don't really give you a moon one for a while, ever. I don't even think I've ever given you a moon one. Did you like that card, Linda? Ah, they're interesting. They're different. Definitely different. But I'll use these sometimes as well. Even if you want to tell me what cards you want, I'll go through with different decks and that I've got, right? I'll just give Michelle a wee quick card. I know. I was not actually expecting them to be as long. But I'll give you one, Michelle, and we'll see how it goes, Mrs. Right? Moonology. Okay, that was a powerful one there. That just was pooing me like nothing else. Bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Here's the book. Here's the book. Bring love into the situation. Just bring love into it, right? But then again, folks say, What's love got to do? Get to do with it. Who sung that? What's love got to do with it? Tina Turner, in it? Bring love into the situation. Oh, come on, girlies. I'll tell you one thing, it's clammy. Is it clammy where all yous are? Because it's clammy here in Scotland. I'm telling you. Bring love into the situation. Bring some air into the situation. I hate reading for books, guys. I do. I would rather read it myself, but there's no much to read. Right. Bring love into the situation, Michelle. Aquarius is all about progress and modernity. So this is the time to move forwards. The new moon in Aquarius can mean... The new moon in Aquarius card means no looking back. Change is on its way and it could move quickly. Whether you get the chance... Whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it or how much you're relying on others to bring it. 
The card comes with the suggestion that you might need to do things independently on your own. But be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when the card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there is a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Attune to the moon. Attune to the moon. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but what... What? Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Well, we know that, didn't you? Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more detached from the situation. Things outside the box... Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmas, pragmatism is called for. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work. The outcome every oracle card is always full of big words. The teaching. Aquarius is, is the sign of invention, modern advances and technology and humanity. Its energy is a little brittle. It's individual, scientific even, and relatively emotional detached. Many people think Aquarius is a water sign because the Aquarius symbol is the water bearer, but it's bearer. But it's actually an air sign and it's far more about intellect than the emotional water sign. As this card no matter what as in as as is this card no matter when you draw it. Dropping convention works well with its energy. I'm not reading any more tonight, guys. That's it. I've not got my reading lips on. <laughs> I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. Uh, I so I hope you like that, Michelle. Right, so this is what I want, guys. Wait a minute, I tidy these up because I hate my cards being loose. Because they'll all get all separated like what well, right. Wait till we have a wee chat. Chat amongst yourself just for a quick minute, right? To get organised here. I just don't like my care trip because they all start getting mixed up, falling over the flare. And it's just I hate untidiness, it does my box in. And if any of you want another card, I will do it, right? Right, okay, okay. Hi, everybody. Right, now that there's a wee bit more of you in now, we've got five of you. Who have we all got anyway? Let me see. Did you all comment? Aye. Davy Lynn, they were my first up. Linda, Helen, Linda again, Shelley, Davy and Lynn, Chris. Good, good. I'm, at least you are all here, right? And, and Jill, tell you, Jill. I've just, you've just missed us doing a care, Jill, but I'll give you one if you hang about. I just want to tell everybody what, this, what I've really opened this group for. Right, I've opened this group, guys, as I said a wee minute ago. It's a wee bit different from my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is about my paranormal stuff, like my ghost hunting and my spirit communication. It's really just a general thing, right? But my Facebook group, I want to go a wee bit more deeper. I want to connect to people and help you. I want to be able to, if you're struggling with grief or maybe even just having a bad day, give me a wee message and we'll either jump on live and I'll do it, or we'll go through the messenger and we'll geese a wee card, a wee spirit box session, anything you want, right? There's a wee catch to it, but I don't want money. I just want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I want you to share it, right? That's all I want for you today, my, for me to do cards and readings for you, right? That is all it is. I want you to help me promote my channel. Just share my videos, share my channel, that's it. And I'll give you, I'll give you tarot card readings, I'll do wee spirit box sessions, a lot. On this, right? That's all I want for you. Just help me grow my channel, and Chris's channel as well, because we, we're in it together. We go ghost hunting together, we do the live podcast on a Saturday night. Chris has got his own wee thing going, so he does like moon stuff and space stuff and things as well. So you'll get to see all that on Chris's channel. Um. 
But I'm keeping this video up anyway because I want, this is why I'm just explaining, even though everybody that's here right now will know what I want to do with my channel, it's so I can keep this video up and let other people see what I want from my channel. I also want it to be about everybody else's paranormal group. I want them to be able to come to my group, post their stuff, even if they don't paranormal and they've got a bit of doubt. I want them to feel free to post their stuff in the group and all of us is like nice people. We'll give them our opinion whether we think it's spirit, whether we think it's not. Uh, because there's a, there's a many a time I've had a video and I've put it out there into all the groups and I've asked people's opinion and they never get back to me. They just always say, oh, good video, nice video, this or that, but they never ever tell me what I want to know. It's like, is that an orb? Is that this? Is that that? So that's what I want for my group, guys, is the place that people can go. Oh, my dad's phoning me. Phoning me. Uh, is, I want it to be a... Oh, bloody dads. I want it to be a place where people can post their paranormal stuff and ask their opinion. Especially upcoming YouTubers like myself that's no even got 500 subscribers. I want to help them, and in order for me to help them, We'll all help each other. Even the big groups, if they've got something that they want to put on my, my page, they're welcome to do that as well. Um, I mean, I've got quite a few big YouTubers and a few... I'm not even wanting to name them because that's no nice naming them because they might not want to be named. But I've got a lot of YouTubers on my channel. I've got a lot of big YouTubers on my Facebook as well. So hopefully they'll spread some word for me as well and give me some feedback to some of my videos. Lorna Granson loves our new glasses, I told her not to text tonight. Alright, okay. The wind's usually like watching my lies too. Uh, aye, so we're just, that's what I want for this group, guys, right? It's just really for people to post their stuff, let us give them our opinion if they're struggling. And if there's anybody struggling with mental health, anything that I can help them with through, like, spirit, oh, this is what this channel's for. So if you all help me spread the word, that I will help people for free. I'm not wanting any money. I just want them to help promote mine's and Chrissy's channel on YouTube. That is why one of my questions is, have you got a profile on YouTube? Because that's the only thing I want to do is promote our channels. You can post links to your channel on my new page. Thanks, Chris. I wasn't sure what you wanted your... Uh, group to be about. I didn't know if you wanted your group to be about Spirit Talk as well or if you wanted to keep yours about the moon and all things like that. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm wanting people, right? And I'm not going to turn the Spirit Box or that on the night because I haven't asked for any protection and that's what I did on Saturday night and I, I really shouldn't have done it. But Saturday night when I was on Chrissy's podcast, that's what I did. I went and did a Spirit Box session, did the coat, they know the coat is the necrophonic app and I hadn't even put any protection up. I had my candles lit and I had incense lit before all that happened. But the moment that it all happened, I didn't have anything like that lit or I didn't even ask for protection. So it was kind of my own fault, guys. And I wanted to show you my... Oh, Chrissy's phoning me. Oh, Chrissy's phoning me. My crystal ball. Will we see the future together? <laughs> Can you see that? It's a wee bit wee. So we'll use that one night, right, people? My crystal ball. I have, I remember I was saying to you on Saturday night. I've never used it myself. I've no even read up the paperwork that comes with it yet. So what we'll do is, if you want, I'll do a quick uh, refresher. All week I'll kind of learn some things about it and I'll read all the stuff and we'll you use a crystal ball, okay? Does that sound good to you? You want the lottery numbers? Well, Chris, we could maybe see if we could see the lottery numbers through it. They say that you can see anything through the crystal ball, so who's to say? <laughs> you just don't know. Aye. Well, that's really all I wanted to go live for, guys, was just really to let you know what the channel's about, what the group's about. Aye, they wait for the crystal ball window. Uh -huh. I might do that Saturday night on Chrissy's channel as well. But in fact, I'm going live on my channel the morning night. What I'll do is I'll think to you after I go here tonight, I'll read up all the paperwork and we'll do it the morning window on my channel, right? 
and I know how to go live on YouTube now. Don't date through the app, date through the YouTube desktop. Is that how you date, Chris, is through the desktop? Because I've been trying to date through the app. I mean, I, did, I didn't even think about the desktop version. And I did it the day for a split, split second and it let me connect like that. So I just deleted it straight away. It was private anyway. Is there anything you want to say to me then before I go, people? I just wanted to... I actually thought maybe more people would turn up, to be honest. But it's because it's a new group. I should have done it on my normal Facebook page, shouldn't I have? Do you want me to jump to my normal Facebook page for five minutes? See if I can get other people to join? Ah, uh, a day, a day, Chris. I need something else that I need to help boost it. And I think it's because Sky's such crap up here. It's really rubbish, honest to God. Mm -hmm. um, but I so listen people I was only really about to go live to let, I wanted to actually introduce this group to people I thought that would maybe come in that I know right now need my help so I'm kind of calling out to them and they're not here as of yet but I'm hoping this word gets to them that I'm doing these because I know that there's people out there that need me right now Zamboron Was Amber on, Michelle? I can give her a, what she wants, a postcard for Spirit. Are you here, Amber? Michelle, let me know. Everyone is entry internet down except ours. Amber was then. I said you were on. Thanks, she... Aye, well, I'll give her a wee card for po I'll give her a postcard for Spirit, because she'll get it when she when the her internet goes back up. Because I can't, she's a member of the group. Hi, Ron. Is Rhonda here? Linda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi there, you're there. Hi, Rhonda. I'm Andrina. Everybody calls me Drew. <laughs> please, please, to meet to meet you. Please to meet you. <laughs> Ah, she's maybe on the internet is doing then, Michelle, because it took me about 10 minutes to get on here. Good, good. Well, I'll do you a wee card, Rhonda, as soon as you're here, right? Do you want a postcard for Spirit? Just a wee booster. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a postcard for Spirit. Not a problem. And there's one sticking out to me. Are you from Scotland too, Rhonda? Are you Scottish as well? Are you down in England? Rhonda. Yeah, they would be lovely. No problem. Right, okay, I'll read it. I don't know if I've had this card before. Dearest Jew. We have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the now know-it-all and open up the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimism. Curiosi curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects, or if you need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting, as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall. All of us over here want you to, to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? Basically, it's basically saying just sometimes, even if you do know the situation and you know the answer to something, sometimes don't let people know that you know that. I think that's what that care is basically trying to say. 
Sometimes you need to just not let people know that you know. <laughs> oh, oh, you're fair. Sanka. Great, Rhonda. Another Scottish buddy. <laughs> I like Sanka. We used to go all the time when we were Wayne's. And my mum had a cousin that stood on one side of the street. And my dad had a cousin that stayed on the other side of the street. And they never ever knew that until we went visiting one time. And it all came out. <laughs> It was it, it was so weird, and then for then on we used to take a run down to Sanka, and my dad would take us out to his relatives for a wee half hour, and then we would go back out to my mum's for a wee half hour. <laughs> Forbes Miller, that was my mum's relative name, Forbes Miller. Thanks, Chris. It's just so we get the word out that what my chat my groups are about. I just want to be there for people and help them if they're struggling spiritually. Uh huh. Forbes Miller was my mum's, and I'm not sure of my dad's. And I think for I'm not so sure about my dad's eh, family. I went to Sanker Club. A lot of the gal people used to go to Sanker Club. I think it was like a kind of exchange thing where they would come to Les Mahigo, pardon me, eh, some weeks and then they would go to like Sanker and things other weeks. Same with the Cleland Club, they used to do that as well. She's like my glass. <laughs> it's diluting juice, guys, okay? It's not drink, I promise. Who else have we got here? We've now got six. Yeah, but Nelly, can you remember my dad's name, my mum, my dad's uh, relatives' names? I know Forbes was my mum's, but I can't remember my dad's. Aye, uh, Sanker was good. I had a good club in it, I heard. Do you go to the club of Ron? Does it still open in Sanker, the club? Ours is closed. It's been closed for about six years. Is it six years? Five years? But it's going to be reopening after this lockdown. People have been... A guy has been did it all up. So it's going to reopen. So it should be good. Was there anything else about a wee postcard for Spirit? I said I was going to give Amber one, didn't I? Did Amber manage to get here? If you're not here, Amber, yeah, I'll give you one. And then you can read it. You can listen to it, sorry, when... After the live. Right, here we go. This is for Amber. I need to concentrate on Amber's wee face. I know exactly what card she needs. It's this one. I don't know how I know. I just know. Don't ask me how I know. Pump up the music, bang the drums, get on up and start that hustle towards your goals and dreams. There are times to be still, but this is not one of them. Now is the time to make the first move. Say yes to life, pick up the phone, make that decision and take the one step towards the gods or us. Expect a cascade of changes, good news and opportunities to show up as if by magic. Well, we know it's really spirit and all of us moving things around for your benefit. The point is that we are saying go for it. Take positive action towards your dreams. Even if the outcome isn't an exact fit for your agenda, it will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate timing. Don't you just love how it all works out? We love you so very much. No, some milk. Miller's also about and well the meeting was bang on Linda. How bang on was that club? Yeah. Of years ago now knocked down on a pub. Uh huh. Our club was like that too then one of the guys that used to be the committee man bought it and he's redoing it down doing it all. Cause they need it up here. They really need something. And they need to let it be open for the kids. It needs to be in the kids, for the kids, for a certain time, a certain night. A Thursday night or something even, the kids need to get a couple of hours on it. Thanks, Linda. I hope you did like that, Rhonda. I'm glad. But 
but we'll do the. I want to. I really am eager to use my crystal ball, but I really, am, I really want to read all the paperwork and things with it. And plus, I need to cleanse it and things as well first. But you kind of do is you just blow some smoke all over it or incense smoke, even tobacco smoke does. You can cleanse with absolutely anything. It's your intention that matters. Does anybody else want a wee card for postcard for Spirit while I'm here? I'm going to do one for her, Ray, even though she's not on yet. I think she will get on, so I'll do one for Ray. So, Ray, my cousin, this is for you. Dearest Jew, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimism. Optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whenever it's going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of it. Oh, oh, this is the same as yours, Rhonda. It's important to know that you're not, you are not aware of all the aspects of it. You need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and richer existence overall. All of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? Well, that's for the Ray. I think that's the same as yours, Rhonda, isn't it? I'd need to do a tarot card for that one, Michelle. That's, too, that's not a question for these tarot cards. These oracle cards, but I can certainly do that. Uh -huh. Let me think what one would be. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to show you off, guys, right? Can you see that? Divination dice. That's where I got all my witches supplies, guys. Freer's cauldron. Let me show you this. I'll let you show you that way. I got all my stuff for Freer's cauldron. See the sticker? These are divination dice. See them? Dice. This is much what the information's like for the crystal ball. The spellkeeper's chest. Divination with dice. The ancient Egyptians and Romans were the were wait no. The ancient Egyptians and Romans were the were the among the first to use dice to seek an insight into what lies ahead. This method is popular to this day and is a simple it is and is simple and effective. First of all, prepare your space and light a white candle or burn incense to help you connect to spirit. Meditate for a few moments and say a few words to seek guidance, such as help me find the answers I seek. Gather up the three dice and place them in a suitable pot or container. Then ask a simple question such as How can I be happier? When you feel ready, throw the dice onto a piece of cloth. If the dice fall outside the cloth, it is a sign that obstacles are ahead. It is fortuitous sign if two or three of the dice have the same numbers. Add up the numbers on the dice and see what they mean. And then it's got like three, a pleasant surprise, four, be cautious, five, opportunities, six, expect a minor setback, seven, be discreet, Eight, avoid underhand tactics. Nine, romance. Ten, expect new beginnings. Eleven, the temporary parting of two friends. Twelve, a long-awaited message. Thirteen, face your fears. Fourteen, a new relationship. Fifteen, trust your instincts. Sixteen, travel beckons. Seventeen, a joyful new life phase dawns. Eighteen, this is a sign of success and happiness. There you go. You can actually have divination at the end. So we'll do them and all on my channel. On my, um, sorry, my group. 
that's really what I want in this group for, guys. It's all the different divination things and to help you. Help. Help paranormal investigators show their evidence, discuss their evidence, see if it's real, see if it's no real. Uh, people's opinion that will only be nasty, like, oh, that's no this and that's no that. We will give a honest opinion. And I just want to be here for people in case they're struggling. Because I know there's a few. <laughs> so I hope you like the, the raw. Uh, I'm trying to get else I've got. I've got the divination dice. I've got the crystal ball. I went a bit dark there, guys, didn't I? I've got the pendulum. What else have I got? Oh, I've got the witch's ruins. How come I keep going so dark? Right now, guys, I'm trying to fix this. Is that better? Am I away? And I've got the... That's is my own pouches. I've got the... Witch's ruins. So we'll take all them as well, guys, right? I know a bit about the ruins, but in order for me to do the ruins, I would have to have it all laid out on my, uh, my cloth down, and I would have to have the camera up here so that you can look down onto what I'm doing. So once I sort up my dressing table and I've got all my spirit boxes and things out, I've got all my tarot cards and things out, and I'll set them up on my dressing table ready to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera set up all the time because to be honest I'm going to be gone live but that'll be three times a week so I'm going to have to have everything all set up right did you like that guys how long was I live an hour oh bad he's all happy I know. I've actually got two sets, see. Um, which is ruins. I've got these wee ones that I got with my altar set. So we'll do them. They're just. I think just for the uh, one just fell, so I'll sit that there. I've oh, got good. I've just got a wee chat with you. I mean, I'm glad you are all okay, and I'm glad that. Your cousin came, Linda, that's brilliant. Um, don't be surprised if I keep forgetting your name. Don't tell me because I'll get it. I'll go on my... Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda, that'll be in my brain now. I'm glad you all came. And I'm glad that you are going to help me. I just want to be here for people, guys. I know there's people out there struggling with mental health and depression and grieving. You know? Ah, that's what it'll be, Chris. It's that light, I know. I actually had it all set up different to this, but I couldn't... Con the reception was terrible, so I had to put it all back here. Aye, I'll, I'll uh, share the link to Amber, Michelle. I need to actually get her on my channel anyway. Poor lassie, I've been telling her for weeks that I'll do it and I keep forgetting. Right, so I'm going to go, people, right? Just help me. Help find me people that you think need my help. Just kind of share the group out and say a bit about the group, what it's there for. Basically, it's to help people. It's to help upcoming YouTubers show their evidence, and build their audience and help people that you think are struggling with their mental health and things, right? So, I'm glad you all came, people, right? And I'll send the link out to a few folk that I read Tara's there for and they didn't come or they didn't make it into the stream. I probably got here and I've got about five different friend requests or something. Um, right, I'm going to go then, people, and thanks for coming. Amber's mum, too. Well, they can all come in the morning night because I'm live the morning night again. So, I'll see you all the morning night, guys. Eight o'clock, right? I'll try YouTube. If I can't go onto YouTube, we'll just come here. Okay, people? Thanks.